I'm sitting here today with Mr. Dell, and uh, he's one of my favorite transformations. This gentleman called me up out of a out of Facebook. Isn't that Facebook? Mm -hmm. He hit me up, and uh, well, you say, it. how did it, how did it go down? I called you up because I thought uh, I like the way you, your physique looked, and I thought I'd come get some tips on training with Mr. Kimberly. And you know, it's pretty funny. I was actually thinking today about the first time I came out, and you, I was at Starbucks sitting there. And he said to me, so what's your pre-workout? What'd you take? And I'm like, um, coffee and, and, and protein. And that was it. That's all I ever thought I'd ever take was, you know, that, that was it. And uh, I, was, I was actually thinking about all the last 18 months today, of all of our training and how much we've done in the last 18 months, how far we've gone. It's pretty cool. Hitting, hitting back to the Starbucks coffee and protein, at the end of the day, at the end of the workout, we'll get back to the workout, but mm -hmm. you show up on lit up on coffee and you got your whey protein in you. What kind of whey was it? Uh, just cheap Costco whey. Cheap Costco whey. How long did you take that after we met? Um, after that bag was done. <laughs> <laughs> Don't like you wasting. So first thing we covered is what kind of whey protein to take. Okay, there there are differences in ways and casings and everything else, and that was one of the first lessons. So you come with me, and uh, how was your experience? What was the first session like? Well, we did legs. And I hadn't trained legs in like two weeks. I'm sorry. And we, um, I couldn't walk for a couple weeks after that. Okay. And uh, what, if you say you learned anything on that hour, that hour and a half, two hours, whatever it was, what did you learn? I learned that you really don't know what you're doing until you have somebody that really knows what they're doing to show you what you're doing. Um, you, know, you can read all the magazines you want. And you, you know, I've been a gym rat all my life, but I weigh 232 pounds. And whereas I'm still going to the gym every day, thinking that you know I knew what I was doing, so I really never thought I was a quote-unquote trainer kind of person to have a trainer. I always thought that was kind of like a, you know, very she she very you know, elite to have a trainer, and it was never my intention to have a trainer. Um, I thought I'd just come and get some tips, and that'd be it. But uh, kind of clicked, and I realized all the stuff that I was really missing to make it happen. What I really wanted for last. I can't remember how many years to make it happen. So I was reading back on a part of your transformation, something you wrote, and you said um, exactly that, that you thought it was a little foofy, a little hotty toddy, I need a trainer, and I, you know, why can't I get enough out of the magazines? But you came back. Mm -hmm. Why did you continue training? It, it clicked. It, it, it made sense in the fact that it's what I was missing, that I really then realized that I could do what I wanted to always do. And for, you know, 20, 25 years, just like spinning your wheels, never getting anywhere. And then it just made sense to me that with being educated and know what I'm doing and eating the right supplements and, and uh, nutrients and having a accountability that I could actually accomplish what I wanted to do. Perfect.